All right, this video will cover the company valuation calculation for the ERP SIM, specifically the manufacturing game, but it's the same calculation for the other scenarios. This matches the supplemental ERP SIM SAP labs and textbook. It is the second edition, which is revised. The company valuation calculation has actually been updated for the 2017-2018 release of the ERB SIM manufacturing game. That's really the only one that has changed. This uh, video is going to presume you have some ERP SIM experience. So you're not just browsing through YouTube watching random videos and thought this would be interesting. <laughs> uh, again, the calculation is specific to the extended and advanced manufacturing game. The uh, basic concept of the company valuation is the same for the other scenarios as well. Though this one is, uh, again, I'm going to be speaking directly to the manufacturing game. All right, so getting to it here, what you need is some information from SAP, and that information is listed within the participants guide for the manufacturing game. So it's these four account numbers within your general ledger your current cash account, your customer's receivables, your account's receivables, your account's payable, your bank loan. This creates your net debt. You then look up your net debt on a table, which tells you that if you're between zero and one million, six million and seven million as examples, these are your risk premiums. This also corresponds with your interest premium, which is not part of this video. Once you have that, you add it to a 7% market risk, a standard risk. To add it to that. The company valuation is coming from your annual profit divided by your discount risk rate, which you calculate here. So seven plus whatever you come up with. To get the annual profit, you take your cumulative net income divided by the rounds played and multiply it by 12. And uh, I am not going to spend time talking about this because it's all within the participants guide. So if you think I went over that too quickly, that's okay. <laughs> the information is also provided within the supplemental textbook. So if you are reading along with that, again, you can get a little bit more information. What I'm going to show you, I'm going to kind of jump ahead because I am presuming you have the participants guide. I'm going to presuming that, presume that you have the textbook and you are able to read on your own. So I'm not going to go through all of that. This company valuation is uh, kind of a standard if you are familiar with company valuations on the finance side of thing and investment, it is following that same information. And make sure I have everything here. There's one. So this is company U here. And then I'm also going to open up company V. I have two different companies that are running. Everything you need is within the F.01. This is on the job aid. One thing it doesn't say on the job aid is ALV tree control. I think it's a little easier to read if you do that. It will always give you this error message. Scoot through. So there we go. These are the four things. The current bank account, the current domestics receivables, going into liabilities. We have the bank loan and the accounts payable. And for this one, we just need the net income as well. Now I'm going to jump ahead here and tell you that some of this information will be on the viewer when you're running ERP SIM. The company valuation itself only appears between rounds. So it is not something that is part of the financial statements here. This is something that's calculated by the system between rounds or at the end of the game. You can try to estimate in between, but it's not as reliable as actually waiting until the end of the round. The, the good thing about this company valuation is that it kind of gives you an idea of you know, kind of a what if scenario so you can try different things for your strategies so you can see here the cumulative net income which matches so that 857.083 and then 1,130,000 that is over here so we have our company valuations here i'm going to show you how this is calculated and there are two different teams u and v make sure i have these matched up i believe this is u <laughs> this is v hopefully i don't mix these up Okay, so what I have is uh, taking the information from the participants guide, I have put together a net debt table, and then I have a VLOOKUP set up, so it automatically finds the net debt and looks up the risk premium. So all I need, I'm gonna start with this one. 
is these four values here to get started on the net debt. The first one here is the bank cash account, which is two million two hundred fifty-two thousand two hundred thirty-four and seventy-six cents. Accounts receivable right under that one million three hundred sixty-eight thousand five hundred six and fifty-nine cents, not fifty-four. Accounts payable. It's listed as domestic accounts payable. It's 535, 264.50. That's this one here. And then the bank loan. So within this company, they've actually paid down their loan a little bit. One, two, three, is that enough? Yes. So we find that our net debt is 4,664,000. And uh, again, I have this set up with a VLOOKUP here to go into the next section. It's adding in that 7% market risk, going over to our net debt table. So 4,664,000 is between 4 and 5, so it's 4.75. So it brings that back, calculates to 11.75. Looking at my viewer here, you can see it's round 2 of 12, 12 total. So rounds completed here is 2. And cumulative net income down here at the bottom, 1,130,300, boop. 388.74, which gives us an annual profit, I have that right, right? Yes, of 6,782,332.44, which gives us the company valuation here of 57,721, and those do match up. Whew. <laughs> this would have been a terrible video if they didn't. So that is how you calculate it, and this is literally, I have programmed the, uh, the spreadsheet to do the calculations automatically. So again, here it is. Actually, this is a slightly different than what's in the uh, participant's guide. It gets to the exact same thing. It's uh, multiplying by, by 12, and actually, you know what? I'm saying that, but actually I did update. I updated it so that it does match that. That's right. Sorry, my old spreadsheet didn't do it the same way. Same answer. Uh, so this one is actually matching what's in the participant's guide. So all I'm doing is automating this whole calculation that is described here within Excel. So you can see, so coming up with the company valuation, so which ends up being the annual profit divided by the discount rate. The one thing that is different from the past, this is the new way of company valuation. If your company has invested in setup time, that is handled a little differently. And I will use the other, where am I? That one. So I will use this one to show you that. The net debt ends up being the same. So there's the bank cash account, 2,124,937.36. Accounts receivable, 1,305,639.70. So that's these two here. And then accounts receivable, accounts pay, sorry, accounts payable, and the bank loan, three nine three eight zero eight and eight one two three three, so four point nine million here. I have this all right, correct? Seven one three five six three nine three nine three zero eight. Okay, so looking at that, it's it's just under five million. So we can look at the net debt and see that it would be 4.75 percent, it's between 4 and 5 million. There we go, so we have 4.75. Now here's the difference, and if you think about how accounting works, the lean manufacturing expense setup time reduction, this is something that is an instant, instant expense off of your net income, and if it's an instant expense, then it doesn't make sense to have that factor into your annual net income calculation. So the, the new version of this <laughs> doesn't punish you for setup time within your net income. So we have our net income right now, 857083.52. And that works out to 54,404. There we go, so those match. So the way that this ends up differing, and this is kind of an ugly calculation here, it's taking B18, your cumulative net income, plus it's adding back in your lean manufacturing expense. It's dividing that sum by the cumulative net income, and then whatever that answer is is multiplied times 12, and then it takes out the lean manufacturing expense. So your net income here is already showing this 250000 but that's you're presumably going to be making that money back 
through uh, your ongoing profits. So it takes it out. Uh, well, essentially, it adds it back in and then takes it out at the end. So that is the company valuation setup. I have another video coming up next that will take this a step further. It is actually quantifying your strategies. And if you don't understand the company valuation, quantifying your strategies isn't going to make sense. So make sure that you understand this and then move on to the quantifying video. And I think that I have everything here. Again, do remember that all that you are looking for, where'd it go? There it is, is within the participants guide, including what I just showed you for the, uh, for removing setup and then adding it back in. So make sure that you take a look at that. And again, the textbook covers this as well.